Systems experiencing a large number of disk operations can become sluggish, which can lead to a bad user experience. It's a good idea to use Splunk Enterprise to monitor your systems for a high number of operations, allowing you to respond to issues proactively. There are some requirements we need to fulfill before we can run our search. Depending on the systems we are monitoring, we will need to install either the Splunk add-on for Unix and Linux or the Splunk add-on for Microsoft Windows. These need to be installed and set up by a user with an administrator role. In our deployment, we are running Linux servers. In the add-on setup page for each server, we make sure the IO stat script is selected. The add-on uses the SysStat performance monitoring tools for Linux to gather data. They will also need to be installed if they are not already on the system. With the add-on installed, we search for a source type of IO stat. In the field sidebar, we see a field of total ops, which is the number of operations being performed on devices when the script was run. Piping our results into a time chart command that averages the total ops by host, we get a table of statistical results. Selecting visualization and choosing line chart, a chart displaying the operations run per host is shown. While this is a good starting point, our users will probably want a little more detail on the devices running the operations. We change our search, adding an eval command that concatenates the host and device field values into a new field called host device. We can now use this field to split our results. We get a report averaging disk operations across all devices in our network. We can now save results as a report or dashboard panel. It would also be a good idea to change our search to only return results if a threshold is met. This would allow us to send alerts during abnormally high disk usage. You can now spot IOPS issues on your system and stay ahead of any problems. Thanks for watching.